Okay, I have water in an Erlenmeyer flask. I take ice. I put the ice around the Erlenmeyer flask. Uh, glass, of course, is an insulator, so we'll take, oh, there you go. The water is boiling. Okay, I can move it away. The water will stop boiling after a while. Go ahead and dry that spot. Just move it back. Once again, <coughs> I use ice. Give it time to go through, and there you go. Now, let's talk about what's actually going on. What you did not see, by the time you got to see this, I boiled this water about 15 minutes ago. Okay, is it warm? Yeah, it's pretty warm. It's not boiling to room temperature. Now, we have all been told that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius at standard temperature and pressure. What you heard was water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, womp, 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 because you have no idea what one what standard temperature and pressure is. Standard pressure is one atmosphere. That's the pressure that's on us right now that we don't even notice. That's the pressure that allows me to take this object, put it on the board, and it sticks because atmospheric pressure is pushing it on. And it is significant. And that air pressure, that air pressure is enough to allow these molecules to be pushed in to the liquid and requires an amount of energy, just like a projectile, to jump up. But if I reduce the pressure by cooling the gas above it, it can boil at a lower temperature. Now, what is the temperature of this water? Unfortunately, um, you'll see that this stopper is in there pretty far. But just so that people know how to set this up, number one, do not try this at home without Pyrex. Uh, this is actually lab-grade material It says Pyrex. If you try to do this with a jar or something, that is not heat, that is not heat glass, and it will crack. Okay? Here in the lab, when I do Erlenmeyer flask, about that much water, if you put too much, it'll last too long. If you put too little, it won't last long enough. You put about this much water in it, you let it boil so where there's a significant boil and the steam is coming out a lot. You cap it while it's still on. It will try to push you off. You remove it. I'll use actually a, a hot hand like this, so I'll put it on. Be holding it down as I'm taking it off the heat source, and I will keep pressure on it. Then I'll put a little bit of ice to suck that down. Then, as I add ice to this right now, what I'm actually doing is removing heat from the system. But notice I am not putting the, the ice on the liquid, I am putting it on the gas. The gas is therefore compressing, and as the gas is compressing, it's reducing the pressure on top of the liquid, which allows it to break free of its intermolecular bonds, and perfect timing. Now, I can keep doing this for a long time if it's set up correctly, and there's no air gap here, and it's not, you'll see that's getting pulled in more and more, and it's actually trying to pull through that gap. I actually have high vacuum grease on it, uh, just to allow that to, to, to stay in and not allow air to go past it. If I could open it, I'm not sure if you're going to get to hear this or not, be careful. Last year when I did this, I actually cut myself and ended up at the hospital getting stitches. No, that's not going to come out. So the way that I'm going to get this out, I'm going to put it in the fume hood, I'm going to close the fume hood, turn on the, the, uh, the heat, and it's going to push it out. Now, is that going to damage the glass? No. Okay, but that's going to be a lot better than me manhandling this and possibly brick cutting it and, and hurting my hand. What temperature is this? Well, I can't really get inside of it, but I can take this infrared thermometer and see what it says. That's Fahrenheit. Let's see if I can get this to Celsius. It says right now the outside of the glass is 44 degrees Celsius. Earlier it was boiling when we put a thermometer inside at 43 degrees Celsius. We were able to lower the temperature enough to boil water at 43 degrees Celsius. Now, if you existed outside of our Earth's atmosphere, someday we will have people that will be born in space. They'll be little kids and they'll do their first spacewalk at two or three years old. Mom and Dad will take them out into the airlock and we're going to go do on our first spacewalk. Look at Mommy, where are we going? We're going on our first spacewalk. They'll take water and they'll open up a jar and the water will boil at room temperature. Why? Because there's no pressure on top of it. And students of, of our age, in, in 100 years, will all go, oh, everybody knows that. We don't know it right now because we don't exist at lower than one atmosphere of pressure. Stop.